Hey, thanks for checking out my channel. This is the Handy Dandy Andy channel. My name is Andrew, I'm your host. Today we're doing a DIY repair on a Bissell carpet cleaner. So this is one that does pets and it has heated on it. So here's kind of a close up of what it looks like. But here's the repair. When we wanna go from floor cleaning to tools, there's a flap right here that should move up and down when this knob is turned. Well, it's not moving up and down. We found out the culprit is this piece of plastic that broke off inside the machine. So right here, this is what connects the knob to the flap and this broke off. Fortunately, we were able to find a replacement part for just a couple of dollars. So I'll show you how to do that in this video. Let's get going. Okay, the only tool that we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's first start by laying the vacuum down. And then there are two screws here, just Phillips screws. And you'll pull this tank off here, set that to the side. And then this is gonna come up Once these two screws are loose, you can pull this up. This isn't screwed in, but it's just kind of locked into place. You don't want to break plastic. Okay, and we can set this to the side. Now we can reach our flap here. The, the right side of the machine, we'll pull out that piece first. And then now we can find where that piece broke off. See that? That's how it broke. So what we're going to do is take our replacement piece, which costs three dollars at the local vacuum repair place. Okay, now that we have our flap, set the knob for floor cleaning. That way, when we set it in, it's going to be laying flat. So you'll start in this spot right here. Navigate it down. Have to come in a little bit to get this in the right spot. Okay, now you're gonna put this piece back on. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we can see that the this plastic piece is holding the gray flap down into place. Now we can put this screws back on. Before we tighten the screws all the way, we're gonna test this, but we need to get the screws in a little bit first. Just so we know they're going in the right spot. So this one is great. There we go. Now that's seated properly. So this is currently on the floor. See here, that's on the floor setting. Now when we turn the knob, it should lift up the flap. See that, the flap lifts up, flap lifts up. Floor, flap, floor, flap. Okay, so we know that that works. So now let's tighten this down all the way. Ready to put this back on. If this isn't seating down all the way, it's probably because this isn't seated all the way. There we go. And you're ready to go.